There are lots of reports in amongst the mining community that copper will go into deficit in the next 12 to 18 months. That is, there will be excess uh, demand, meaning that prices will rise. One company trying to address this is Vancouver-based Tosico Mines, which is listed in Toronto, here in London, and also at the New York Stock Exchange. Chief Executive is Stuart McDonald, who joins us now on the line. Stuart, welcome. And indeed, welcome to London, because I know you're passing through, uh, pressing the flesh in amongst the uh, community, trying to uh, uh, help uh, uh, get the word across as to what it is you're doing. Before we get into some of the detail, just broadly speaking, what is the, um, the, uh, the, the, the company trying to achieve and, and how you, what's your business model? Yeah, we're, we're, um, we're, we're a Canadian-based copper mine and we're building a multi-assets uh, copper producer here focused in the North America. So we've got one cash flowing asset, um, our Gibraltar open pit copper mine. And uh, we've got a great growth profile in front of us with our second mine um, about to go into construction next year uh, in Florence, Arizona. Actually. So we're quite excited about that. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the production you already uh, bring to the market. Um, how is that going? What's, what's the mine looking like? What's the mine life like? And how are you co- continuing to, to try and um, uh, develop that mine? Yeah, it, so our, our Gibraltar uh, copper mine, it's, it's located in central BC. It's one of the largest open pit copper mines in North America. Um, it's, ha- it's an operation with a long history and a long um, future as well. We've got 23 years of reserves left. Um, it's a large scale uh, operation. We produce, put through our mill about 85,000 tons a day of ore. And with that um, production base, we produce about 120 to 130 million pounds of copper a year. Um, yeah, we, we operate in the range in the current environment of probably 220, 230 a pound operating costs. So gives us a great gives us a great operating margin, a great source of cash flow to build our project pipeline from. Um, well, yeah, I was going so to ask. I was going to ask actually. I was going to ask what that what that profit's used for because uh, clearly it is something where you want to invest back into the business. Is all that money going back, or how do you reward shareholders? Yeah, we're we're reinvesting in the business. We really believe in in the value of building a multi asset operation and having diversified cash flows from from more than one mine. So, we've been focused now for the last eight years um, on developing de-risking, um, permitting, and bringing into production our Florence Copper project in Arizona. This is quite a unique asset. Um, it's a low cost operation, low capital cost, and low environmental impact as well. Um, and so we're quite excited to, to finally uh, be bringing this mine online uh, in the next couple of years. So we've got one final permit outstanding that we're just waiting for now um, from the EPA. And we're expecting that, you know, possibly in the first half next year, in the middle of next year. Um, and that's the last piece that we need. We then will move into an 18-month construction period and, and start production, hopefully, in late, late 2024. Um, so that, that which, operation which brings us a... Oh, sorry, yeah. I, I, I was, I was going to say, which, of course, is where all the cost comes. The building a mine is very expensive. How, how do you go about this? Yeah. Um, are you going to replicate what you've done in the mine you already got up and running? Uh, you're going to bring on a partner. You're going to raise the money in the market. What, how are you going to fund all this? Yeah, we've got $100 million, roughly $100 million US of cash on our balance sheet right now. Um, we've got an undrawn credit line of $50 million. Um, we're actively engaged with, uh, with royalty um, companies that are interested in uh, funding our Florence project as well, offtake financing equipment lease you know we've got a number of different options this is only this is uh, for a copper mine a relatively low capital cost at 230 million us um you know so it's well within our means um to finance without you know without doing a significant uh, equity raise or without diluting existing shareholders so there's really a great opportunity here for for our shareholders to participate in our growth one of the big things, of course, for any corporate, uh, especially in the mining sector, which is very high profile in this area, is the fact that we've got uh, an, an, an increase in the responsibilities around ESG. Uh, and I know that the existing mines, uh, a lot of mining companies have had to put a lot of money into to bring them up to what is considered to be um, current spec. When building a new mine, of course, you can incorporate all that into the, the mine plan. 
Um, what ESG responsibilities do you, are you taking on? I mean, you're in a, a very um, good um, and easy environment in which to work politically. Of course, North America is a very good mining jurisdiction. Um, so, uh, but you do, as I say, have responsibilities. Uh, how are you engaging with this on this mine construction or the, uh, the, the, the Florence mine, especially where you're trying to build um, this, this, um, this project? Yeah, no, we're, we're very fortunate at Florence. Um, we've got a very unique situation here where we can build um, what we call an in-situ copper recovery process. Um, it's very innovative, very low cost and very low um, impact way of mining. And what we're actually doing, and we're not digging a large open pit, we're not tunneling underground, we're actually drilling a well field into the ore body and recovering um, copper in solution. So it's solution mining. Um, we then process that copper bearing solution on surface through a conventional SXEW plant and we produce refined copper right on the mine site. So, you know, from an ESG perspective, we can, we can operate this mine with a carbon foot, an incredibly low carbon footprint, very low energy use and very low water consumption in the range of, and all, on all those metrics, you know, 80 to 90% more efficient than a conventional uh, copper mine. So we're bringing a really green uh, product to the market in the U.S. and uh, yeah, getting a lot of getting a lot of attention from the customers of the copper, but also from the investors in our um, in our shareholder uh, in our company that appreciate that that environmental profile. Yeah, let's bring up a, a share price chart. As I said, you you're, you're listed in three major jurisdictions, um, all very uh, mining friendly, and you're here in London at the moment. This is the London listed stock of Tosico Mines. Um, the, the the current share price I think represents a market cap of about 520 uh, million Canadian dollars. I think that's the way that it's measured. Although, as I said, this is the London listed stock uh, with the yeah. uh, with the share price currently around about 116. Um, what do what do you what do you say to to people who are looking at, a, at an investment in in the copper space? Bearing in mind we've seen this really big uh, drawback in terms of the uh, actual. Um, uh, share price down from the highs you saw uh, back in April this year at 180 pence. Yeah. Here we are now, at, as I say, sub 120. Um, what's yeah. the appetite for mining opportunities, investment opportunities at the moment? Yeah, there's 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 good interest. You know, a lot of focus on copper as the metal, and you can see on our stock price there. Um, you know, we do definitely. Um, ride the ups and downs of the copper price. You know the drop in copper price that we saw um, in in the late spring, May, June, July period there had a big impact um, on our stock price too. But you know in the longer term, um, we're very bullish on the metal, and we think that you know as copper prices continue to recover in the coming years, that our shareholders are going to participate in that. Um, so what we do as a management team, in addition to just copper price exposure. Um, is is grow our grow our production profile and de-risk our projects um, and and the, the developments of Florence are are a big part of that big part of that investment thesis for the next couple of years. We've got you know lots of lots of appetite for copper here here in London. We've been in investor meetings the last two or three days. Um, lots of interest, lots of appreciation. Now I think there's a broad understanding that copper is a key. Uh, ingredient for the energy transition that's underway. You know, uh, as we transition away from fossil fuels to renewable energies, electric vehicles, all of these things require copper. Um, you know, and we're a you know we're a major uh, producer, and we have a lot of leverage in our share price, as you can see on that chart. Um, as we as the copper price dropped in May, June, July, our share price dropped. In the longer term, as copper prices recover, we're going to see a, a strong recovery. Um, in our in our share price. Um, on top of that, we we provide um, growth, you know, through our through our production profile and through bringing on the second mine and de-risking our our projects. Um, but uh, no, it's it's a great environment right now for for copper companies and and for critical minerals generally. Producers of critical minerals generally, you know, there's a lot of appetite. Okay, Stuart, look, we'll have to leave it there, but thanks indeed for joining us. Hoping next time better join us in the studio, we can get together and uh, talk about this face to face. But in the meantime, thanks indeed for your time. It's uh, been a pleasure to catch up with you. That's Stuart McDonald. He's the chief executive of Tosico Mines. For more videos from us here at IGTV, join us on Twitter at IGCom, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.